What's up guys? So I have a 2023 fifth gen 4Runner. I like about everything about the vehicle. The only thing I didn't like when I got it was the fact that the daytime running lights were not LEDs. Headlights are LEDs, my fog lights were LEDs. Everything on the front was LEDs, except maybe the turn signals. It would just look so much better if the daytime running lamps were LEDs. So that was one of the first mods I did. If you put LEDs in, like the way it's normally wired, they'll flicker, which we don't want. So I wanted to find a way to do it, and I did. And I've been running them for maybe two years now, and I haven't had any issues. So what I had to do was make a harness. The harness wasn't hard to make. I got everything from Amazon. It's a uh, 9005 bulb, I believe. Today I'm gonna show you how to make that harness by yourself. I think someone sells the harness, but you can save money by doing it yourself. So today I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the 2022 to 2024 Forerunners, they changed out their headlights to where the high and low beams were all one bulb but they left the daytime running lamps as halogen bulbs. And to me, having all LEDs would make so much more sense. Like, why'd you cheap out on that? Instead of having that ugly yellow halogen DRL, I wanted to swap mine out to LEDs. So what I did was I got on Amazon and I bought the pieces I would need to make a harness. So I'm going to show you how to make that harness today and show you how to hook it up. Mine's already hooked up, but I'll show you where everything goes so you can do it yourself. It's very simple. Shouldn't take you that long and you don't need that much to do it. So the way it is currently set up, the bulbs are ran in series, which is only giving your bulbs about six volts of power. So what this harness is going to do, it's going to run them in parallel and give your bulbs the 12 volts of power they need so that they don't flicker. So you're going to have two harnesses. One looks like this, and the other looks like this. I got both of these from Amazon. They came in packages like this. I believe they came with two harnesses. So I guess if you mess one up, you can always try again, but it shouldn't be a problem. So what you're going to do is you're gonna take this harness right here that looks like this. It's got a red and a black wire. This is going to be added to one side of this harness. I guess I can, you don't need this part. So I can cut this. So I can show you what I'm talking about. And you take this part off, save that for later if you want a nice clean looking install. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take this harness, and here's the one we previously cut and you're gonna have this red wire and you're going to attach both of the wires from this harness to this harness on the red or the positive. So you'll solder that together. So the black wire or the negative wire, you're gonna take that one and you're going to add a little wire to it with probably one of those and you're gonna hook that ground up to where it's already grounded in your forerunner. And that will complete your harness. Instead of explaining it, I will also do it so you can see what I'm talking about. So the way I'm going to attach my wires is I have these um, wire connectors and they have like solder in them. I got these from Amazon also. Amazon's getting a lot of my money. But you'll take one of these it's got the solder in the middle and you'll take like a lighter to it and you'll put your wire over it you will put it through there so it's touching the solder and you'll add your other wire to it give it a little heat and it should solder together makes it very simple and very easy like this will also protect it so you won't get water or anything in there so as I was saying you're gonna take this connector with the red wire 
and you are going to join this connector and these two wires to the red wire all together. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to take this and feed one of the solder connectors through here. So that's touching the solder. Might twist these together. Make them feed in there a little easier. I'll feed those in there. Work them through that little piece of plastic. There are different sizes in that kit, but this one will work fine if you just feed it through. So now that we have all of the wires through there, we'll take this lighter, just kind of hold the flame under it. Keep going back and forth. See it's starting to melt. The middle's starting to activate the solder. Of course, I had to get another lighter. So now that's all together, give it a tug. It's not coming apart. So now you'll move on to the next one. So for your next part, you're going to take one of these uh, connectors and your extension to your ground wire. We'll feed this through here, we'll crimp it down. So that'll be on there like that. And then you will take another one of these solder connectors Feed this through here, and this one through here. Get that fire action going. there we are. So now this is what your connection should look like. So you'll have your extension to the ground wire, the black wire, and then the red wire coming off will have a extension of both wires coming onto the connector. What I did on mine was I taped all this up for a little cleaner look and then you can cut down the middle of this and feed these through here so it has maybe a nicer cleaner look I'll be able to show you on mine what I did I was just showing this to you for demonstrational purposes <laughs> but now we can go out to the forerunner and I can show you what it looks like and how to hook it up and you will have LED daytime running lamps you have to remember that these LEDs will now be full power LEDs so if you put like super bright LEDs in, these daytime running lamps, they sit where your uh, high beams used to sit. So you do have to think about the fact that you might be blinding people. Okay, so you only have to do this to your passenger side. You'll see this fitting right here that fitting right there coming off your harness and then the blue part of your harness is actually right there on the actual light and then you're going to run your ground I don't know if you can see down there or not but yeah there's already a spot right there that grounds everything so that's where you can hook that up easily and it's not too far away from any of your other wires. So this wire here that has that part of your harness on it, this part right here, this black fitting, that will be attached to your stock headlight. 
when you take it off. So you're going to detach that. You're going to plug that part of your harness in, this part. You're going to plug that into there. You're going to wire your ground to there. And then you're going to hook the blue end of your harness up to the actual headlight. And once you do all that, you'll be able to put LEDs in both of your lights and you'll have LED daytime running lights. So I had to start the car up to show you. But I went with yellow, as I said earlier, but you can do whatever color you want. But to me, this needed to happen. I just couldn't stand the fact that everything else was LEDs and the daytime running lights were not. So that is the harness mod and it shouldn't be that hard to do. So I hope it helps.